evening, me morning everyone, this is Rat Trap 25 I just had to know, tell you one thing, bit of announcement from my wife is that she's just listened to the new Britney Spears song, yes. Britney Spears song and me, I found it was completely crap, I found myself doing that, halfway through the song because that's how crap it is. Ugh. It's like something the Chav would listen to. Okay, um, my toy review today is this one. For the 40th time, I'm trying to do this. I think my wife should make me a cup of tea for that. I've just been threatened with a black eye. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> She's a bit of a rum bugger, eh? Mm. Lovely. I love her too much. I'll make her a cup of tea afterwards. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Okay. Bit character. Um. Sideways. In Japan, he's called Noise Maze. He comes from the planet X. Which is a weapons facility planet that will make weapons and sell them off to the next builder and then design something better to counteract it. Something like the Quintessons did in G1. They hated the planet Gigantium, which was the rivalry when Gigantium was only there for construction and work so basically Gigantium was like completely full of Autobots and the, all the Decepticons lived on Planet X. Mm -hmm. his, his, his twin brother is actually Soundwave in the show played by Gary Chalk. Um, he first shows up halfway through the beginning of the Transformers Cybertron and pretending to be an Autobot. But if you watch um, Transformers Armada, sideways is a bad guy. Um, he goes to. He actually is. There to play the Decepticons and Autobots for their own game because he knew. I think he actually kind of knew that um, uh, the last planet key was actually on Gigantion and they needed the Cyber, cyber the own Megalot to resurrect his own planet. Uh, he starts messing and playing around with Starscream most of all because he finds that Starscream's the more powerful it's out of you Megatron and he can absorb the power of Primus by stealing the um, Cyberlock or Megalock. Um, he doesn't really do a lot in the show set for uh, he's more of an espionage kind of person he would say one thing to the Autobot saying like I'm a spy sent from Cybertron in High Council and um, then he would turn on the Autobots and blast them in the back as soon as they backs are turn and he runs off chasing cigar screen like a little lost puppy so, he becomes more like um, Scar Starscreen's little pet, or lapdog. This is actually the Mo Noise Maze version, not the Hasbro one. This is actually the Takara one. My wife's eating a chocolate digest digestive. Is she enjoying it? Say, tell the viewers. Yeah. Well... She she's stuffing her mouth that much. She doesn't want to say it. <laughs> she loves it that much. Okay. Other than that, he does meet his end 
well, it does get transported with Soundwave and Soundwave, Starscream and Sideways go to another dimension. Excuse me. He does have a few gimmicks. His wings become his weapons, become swords or lance. Very nice to hide away like that. He does have his cyber lock gimmick. See Autobot there, when his shield up. You lift up the harm cannon, you get his cybernetic key with this set of symbol. Push it in if I can. And as you see, it pushes down to show the Decepticon symbol. I think it should have been the other way around. Um, just plainly because, oh, they could have no, done something more with that. Um, because he's, he's mostly classed as a Decepticon in the show. He's always, he is mostly Decepticon. In this toy, you got all the move abilities that you would want. He's, el he's got an elbow joint. He bends at the short shoulder. He does do a full 360 with his arms. Like that. His head's on the ball joint. And bends at the knees and bends at the foot. And his legs or hips. Uh, ball joints. He does have a cape. Uh, he has been repainted and remolded three or four times, I think. Um, on one of the molds, he's got a different head sculpt. On the other mold, he's just got the same head sculpt, but just a day for cold steam. The one first came out was the Revenge of the Fallen 2.0 Rat Bat what was more looked more like is um Dreamway continuity in War with Him. And in the other one he look he was repainted as Scourge and the Sphinx. Both the Sphinx had different head sculpts. They all had the same head sculpt, you know, but the Scourge one had a completely head mold to the Sphinx. To transform age, transform this guy. How I like to do it is lift click the head up and it opens the cockpit. You turn his head around, you push it down and push it back with your thumb. Then you lift his head, his cockpit up. Then you push his cape up. You take the one with the fusion cannon, turn his arm up, spin it around, and fold it under. Turn it around like that. Then you push his legs down so he can. Remove, move all the um, cannon to place, and plus you got to use that um, anchor bit to push it up and twist it around, push, slot it in, and push it down like that. You do the same again. All you do with the other arm is just turn it in. You just twist the arm around so his arms are looking like that underneath. Then all you do, oh, always happens. Please t subscribe and tell me if you got this toy. I always find out that the leg joints or the hip joints are always coming loose. So you open up his legs like that you fold his feet down 
and this heel spur in push up twist his legs the opposite way round and you pull them out like that and he's halfway done you fold his legs in on the cells like that and you think he's done well he's not he's still got his wings what I do is because it's easy is to take the wings out and pull the black bits from under it what was keeping his wings stable fold them down with the orange bits and move them around and then ooh, move them out to the side so they look like that are you asking is it finished yet? no it's not then you should see you've got a hole there and the sliding slot right there where his cape is I don't know if you can pick it up on my camera but well you could see it on the toy you got to put his sword facing the blade and push it in and push you got to push the black bits up again and you push the black bits up like that so it looks like a Z kind of thing get your other sword push slot in and push through the hole now he's done he's a very good cybernetic plane very stealthy and a very slim line which goes well with his character overall I think it's a very nice toy but the only problem I would say is this bit here um, it, it's kind of a bastard to get through this cape and the ball joints on his hips I know it's the only way it can be done in this toy um, it's the only way it could actually be done because of the transformation abilities and that's only all but overall I like the toy, enjoy the toy and it's a nice display piece to go along with your Transformers Cybertron collection it's a must have, I've got to tell you, it is a must have toy. This is Reactor 25 signing out saying bye.